all you Katanaites. What's a Katanaite? You are of the guild of Katana owners who practice at home, who go take lessons on the Katana, who go uh, home with the Katana, who go to the practice with the Katana, who might even play gigs for the Katana. And the Katana is, bang for the buck, an amazing amp. No doubt about it. Now, if you have a Katana Mark II, I think it is only the Mark II, I'm not the Katana specialist. Or it's called the Protanas. Um, and you have the 100 watt version. You can buy the Boss foot switch, which I think is 109 euro. It is solid as a rock, like a rock. Toyota. Um, you can kill people with this. It's got expression pedal inputs out to your Katana 100 Mark II, and you got. Oh, this is actually you don't have this because this is actually wrong. This is for the uh, Boss Waza two band expander. Uh, so I I kind of change the labeling. But this is a six button foot switch that works with your katana. However, it is a foot switch to control your amp and not the 50 version. And as far as I know, not the Mark 1s. Might be wrong about this. But you most certainly can't edit it with it, right? No, you cannot. So I was going to just throw it, but that would literally destroy my floor. So well done, boss. But my friends at Exonic, who have made the amazing Airstep and the Airstep Lite and the Airstep uh, Waza Air and Waza headphone version with Bluetooth, the Spark version and the Yamaha THR version, these are all controllable wirelessly with the Airstep uh, Spark Katana or Waza version, now came up with this puppy. Yeah, way to go, Leslie. Now they can see it even smaller. <laughs> now we have the Airstep Cat. Meow. Um, since the Katana doesn't, Katana, Airstep Katana, since the Boss Katana does not have Bluetooth, it is not working wirelessly. So that means we have a USB-C cable going into the back of it into the USB input. Now, they delivered this to me with a rather short cable. Um, and I'm trying to make a short cable joke, but let's not. Uh, they say it will be delivered with a two meter cable. And obviously, since, since it is a USB cable, you can always just extend it with any USB cable. They even give you a USB-C to standard USB extender. Comes in the box. Also in the box is a USB to this 9 volty thing adapter, so you can charge it because that puppy has 200 battery hour life something, 200 hour battery life. Also comes with stickers, so you can label it, you know? and put names on there. There's a little card with QR codes to download the app, to update it, the Airstep Updater app. The whole damn thing is $99 plus shipping. So, okay, let's look at it. Connects with USB to your Katana, and right out of the box, it, well, you turn it on. Okay, you turn it on. This is where it charges, but again, it's wireless, right? Unless it's on it. Nine volt charge, and that is, you know, red or blue. The function is something you have to hold in to get it into update mode. We're not gonna go there. But right now, we are on the blue level, and that is preset one. Look at that, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. Channels right here. But Henning, what does the fifth button do? You ask correctly. We're gonna go on to the green level. And on the green level, we got, oh, look at that, booster and mod. Hmm, interesting, huh? Look at that. You're turning on and off the delay. No, you're not. Right now, you're fucking tapping it. Okay, how do I turn it off? Hold it in, done. Isn't that ridiculous? How do I turn the reverb on and off? Hold this in, on and off. Hold in. 
quick click, I'm back to the presets. Effects editing, hold it in, reverb on off. Delays on, you have tap delay, hold it in, delay changes. But get this, when you hold it longer on these, it changes to the other two modes, which means the other two preset pedals you have. So with this foot switch, you can actually access all three different booster, mod, or effects settings. I don't know how to do that on the delay. Not sure it's possible. Well, it probably is by doing this and then just going click. Okay, you might have to manually set that. I don't know if it's possible to do that with the foot switch, but that is a, a compromise I'm more than willing to do. So turn them all off, click, click. Uh, oh, no, wrong. <laughs> Oopsie. And uh, switch to the blue level. How cool is that? So you can switch your four channels and control. So I'm going to channel one and I'm turning the booster on off. Oh, wait, I want to go to my Tube Screamer. Bam, on off. That is freaking awesome. So let's listen to a couple of things here. How do how we listen to an amp that you should experience in the room? Because are you going to mic up a katana? You could, but you could also go out of the USB and record it, which of course, when you're controlling it with the yes, the katana, you can't because it is plugged into the USB. So you're not going to use it with USB out. So we're listening to it in the room with the 3DO binaural ears. We actually have a 3DO camera right there, which means you are literally sitting behind me listening to the amp, playing this Alcaster for my friends at Tone Fox. So here's just a couple sounds. Where was the clean? Oh, I'm wrong. Here. Reverb on is pointless if it's not up. can see that using this thing is ridiculously simple. I have it on top of the amp now, which of course is completely pointless. A, because I just had that cable and B, I need to film it at the same time with the amp. So, you know, how many cameras do you have coming from the ceiling? Exactly. And wouldn't it be cool for 99 bucks if that's what it did? Yes. But then you're going to ask, but Henning, why is there an antenna on it? And it would be a good question. With my phone. The antenna on it is Bluetooth. Damn, that's a sturdy antenna. So I hook it up with Bluetooth. Where is it? Air step light, air step cat, go. Updating it, you do it with the air step updater, uh, you know, pick the thing. It's relatively simple. So what you do is 
you download the Katana Air app. And it's obviously not made for the Katana 50 or 100. It's made for the Katana Air, the little Bluetooth wireless thing. But some of the parameters are the same. So what Exonic is doing, they're channeling the control from the Katana Air app through the AirStep Cat foot switch with Bluetooth into the Katana. Now, there are some parameters that are different, and I urge you to read the manual. They will tell you what's different. For example, some of the knobs have to be at 10 o'clock to be actually at 12 o'clock. And there are certain presets being saved to other presets, or certain uh, there's some presets you can't edit at all. But who cares? You could actually wirelessly with your phone edit your Katana through the magic of the Airstep Katana. So let's check this out. Here's my phone. So you open this, you select Airstep Cat as your device, and there we are. And now you're going to say, well, how do we know it works? Well, let's check this out. See, see, see what happens? It changes the abs, come on! It freaking works. Does acoustic work? Yes. So that works. Obviously, you're not going to see the game changing because the knob won't move. Okay. Um, effects. Let's check this out. Booster. See? On. Off. Look at the green light on the booster. On, off. Okay. Let's edit. Uh, what's it? Uh, how do I? Uh, it's down there somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to turn the effects off. I'm, uh, reverb. And here are the different types, of course. Let's go back. It's difficult to do this. <laughs> with not looking at my phone, but looking at my screen. And do you see how I'm changing it? Green, red, orange, not a problem. Uh, edit, there we go. So you can, of course, change it to a turbo overdrive. You can change it to a whatever you want. Bam, you go to the booster, set that up. You do your normal editing, but again, please read in the uh, Airstep Katana manual what works and what doesn't. But you can, from the app, change everything, set it up, see how that's working. Um, reverb, go to orange, do more. Now, of course, go to right, patch, right. And we are done. I go back to amp. I mean, how freaking cool okay, is that? You can actually stand in your rehearsal and quickly edit from right here. I mean, do you have to? Do you need to bend down? I don't know. But definitely editing this is easy. Going to the different effects, you can't do when you're in a rehearsal. You cannot access that. So right here, you know, edit. You actually, what do I do? Effects. You actually can get to all the effects, even when you're on the road, even when you're in your practice room, which previously with your katana, you couldn't, even if you had a hundred Mark II and the foot switch. Now, this is making the katana Bluetooth editable. Again, edible? Editable. Again, you have to read the manual from Exonic to make sure you understand the differences between the Katana Air and the Katana and what's possible and what not. They tried their best to make as many parameters accessible. So if you know the differences, you will edit it in a breeze and you are totally okay with the compromises that had to be made. It's obviously not a boss product, but how cool is that? So if that was something that was always important to you, editing your Katana on the road, changing the effects parameters, now you can with the step Katana. Obviously, they commissioned this video and they paid me to do it because it is a lot of work. But on the other hand, I have two air steps. I have two air steps lights. I'm using it on the Spark. I'm using it on the THR. Uh, I'm using it as a video switcher in Studio B. Uh, I use the air steps everywhere. I turned on Glenn Fricker to it. Uh, Andy's using it. Um, uh, China Mike's using it. Everyone that I know is a big air step fan because. It is such a solid piece of freaking gear. I'm going to take this off here. Uh, I mean, you can kill people with this thing, okay? It is as solid as the original Boss Foot Switch. Got little rubbies on it. Um, and wireless, uh, battery powered, 200 hours, all that 
good stuff. 99 bucks is a steal. Go to their website, check it out. I'll put links below. Thanks to Leslie and Stacy. Does that rhyme? Leslie, Stacy? No, it doesn't. Um, for hanging out and switching. You guys have been amazing. I hope. I don't know. Maybe you were total idiots sitting there in your underwear eating chips. Maybe you weren't amazing. Maybe you were bastards. I don't know. Please stay for the animals at the end. <laughs>